these young people, everybody's riding off, and these, these people are struggling, working class people, everybody's riding off. So, oh my God, what are we gonna do to help the poor working people? Oh my God, or whatever. And they're saving us. They're saving everybody. You know, they're saving the country. Here, these, these folks may not have you know, message clarity, they have moral clarity. I mean, that's what they've got. They've got moral clarity. They are clear as a bell, and that's what's been missing. And I think it's, it's ridiculous. You, you should not ask folks who have been hurting, sitting on a white hot stove for three years, some people for 10 years, 30 years, to holler properly. You know, it's like, uh, where's your proposal for derivatives reform? I mean, that, that's not their job to come up with proposals for derivative reform. Their proposal is to keep the conscience of the country focused on the real issues, not the distractions on TV, the real issues. These young people who are graduating with all this debt, who are, who are praying to get an unpaid internship, they deserve better. The veterans deserve better. And so, you know, I can't, you know, and the other thing I was, how can anybody criticize them for not having message clarity? What Democrat has message clarity? What, what, who in Washington, D.C. has a clear message on the economy? You know, these people at least have moral clarity. Look, first of all, people should be out here uh, to bear witness to history. You know, there, there, there are certain times when something is happening. If, look, when the young people started sitting in February 1st, 1960, if you could have been there, would you have been there? That was a sit-in to save a, a, a group of people in the United States from being oppressed. This is a massive sit-in to save the entire middle class and working class from being obliterated. You should be here.